Hi guys, welcome to another video. We've been seeing that the market had been continuously dumping and we are also forming some kind of a bear flag right now. Whether these flags are gonna go on or not, we're gonna be finding out in today's video. We're also gonna be focusing a lot on Bitcoin and Ethereum today as we are gonna be getting into the weekend as well. So we get into TT, which is called trend trade as well, especially on four hours, we have broken trend. Now, if we do want to come back into trend, we will have to retest ourselves somewhere in the zones of $44,750. Even if you want to get into one day time frames. So even on the daily time frame, we are just right now testing our downtrend. That is going to be very, very interesting. Whether we're going to be holding this as support and bouncing, we have always failed to do so. And this was the first time we did break above. So that would be a very interesting sign for us. Overall, we look at market side will be momentum is coming down, RSI is coming down, everything was very overbought. Now we have also seen a MACD convergence that happened recently, almost yesterday. So we are obviously in a zone, we are feeling a lot of bearish right now. But we do need healthy corrections like we always discuss. We can't have one way, one side market either. We want some kind of upside, some kind of downside. So what I'm seeing now clearly is we are making some kind of a bear flag right now. We do break this bear flag, things will get very, very bearish. But overall, if you look at it right now, looks okay. Cyphers are still asking us to come above. We are still in contact with the first EMAs. So looks okay, which is already at 43.578. Looks all right, looks kind of bullish for us right now. But we would ideally want to change this scenario ASAP and probably get into some kind of better momentum right now in the market and not just be so bearish. So now we get into our bubbles for today. Bubbles are completely red, just like the shirt I'm wearing, completely bearish, not much action going on for bubbles for us today. Just have to monitor them and be careful, not much trades going on right now in the market. Have to wait ideally for a very good market setup to enter trades. Now we get into startup. We have very good startups right now. We have Hillstone Finance. Otherwise, we have Edge Swap, which we discussed yesterday as well, and Drunk Robot Metal. Now we get into are newly listed we can see there's some coins that are going to be coming out another football fan token then hillstone finance at swap have almost one day and a few hours to go the next one in a couple of hours about 21 hours is eventus if you do want to get into it definitely you can the winner for us clearly that we had chosen in the last 24 hours was embry wallet Embry wallet is up almost about a thousand percent right now just trading between 800 900 and thousand percent just started just being the first hour that it just started in the newly listed so i hope you guys have gotten into this one because you're never gonna get in this kind of upside anywhere else other than kate.io so you must get into coins that are gonna be pumping so hard and make you some good returns click in the link given in the description below join gate.io with my referral link you're gonna earn some rewards as well now we get into our greed and fear index back down from 48 levels to all the way to 34 levels right now we can See, there's a lot of fear right now in the market. If you see long and short ratio, it's even Stevens about 53% here. Even block data is about 51%, quite even Stevens here as well. If you look into the market sentiments for BTC and ETH, very neutral funding rates have come down. So that is a good sign for us right now. Overall, if you look at the coins, major coins right now are on sell like AXS, Luna, Sand. So market sentiments are pretty bearish in some coins and pretty bullish on the other coins. So market is in a mixed bag right now. Usually that's how we're going to be feeling. This week was quite, quite bearish for us from last weekend. We had been just consolidating and dumping slowly and slowly. We look into liquidations over the past 24 hours, massive liquidations and long ratio. So that is a very, very important sign for us right now. So definitely once we have long liquidations, then we're going to be having short liquidations as well. That's how the market works. Can never be one sided for sure. Even if you want to see the long liquidations, in per coin looks massively in BTC, EDO, Solana, GMT, Luna, ETC, NAIR. So a lot of liquidations have been happening and a lot of long liquidations here as well on different different exchanges, OKX, OKX gate, and then large liquidation orders are also beginning to happen. We have a lot of short liquidations coming in in the last hour to 24 hours. It looks all right. Overall, we want to see the market sentiment. It's quite OK. Even Stevens people are now beginning to get more long again. So probably we're going to be staying under this range and we have to just monitor and be very, very careful that how we are going to be taking these trades for the next 24 hours. Now, if we get into the news, we can see that the Bitcoin conference is going on right now and the Bitcoin conference has been doing pretty much all right. But what everybody's excited about is this massive Bitcoin bull, which is pretty, pretty cool here. And I also like it. I think it's we need this bull right now to bring the market a big, big upside and not just be in this kind of a sideways market where we are just consolidating in the zones. But I really want this bull to bring us upside so I can also wear a green shirt or maybe go back to a black 
or a white shirt that I usually like to wear. So there is a lot of art right now in the market. The Fed has been very, very hawkish right now. We can also see this former New York, New York Fed governor Dudley. If stocks don't fall, the Fed needs to force them. And we can expect anything to be happening right now. Fed to shooting 9 trillion balance sheet at pace of roughly 95 billion a month which is going to be massive massive amount of money going to be sucked out from the markets as well rate hike bet source at fed minutes indicate that the most hawkish fed tightening cycle since 1994 so we can also see asian markets are tumbling right now though with the russia ukraine war fud we can see that the rally back has come down to the exact levels that it was and russia is doing pretty much better now but there's also sanctions, bond removals, and a lot of other things going on right now in the market clearly is right now in all sorts of fart. So markets indicators aren't looking very, very good for us right now, but overall we can expect things to be changing for us very, very quickly. Usually I'm expecting this weekend can be a very, very bullish one. And more importantly, we have to hold that daily trend that we are holding right now. So let's get into our charts and see what we can expect in the next 24 hours. The bear flag that we can clearly see is forming right now. In case we do break this bear flag, the flag looks very, very healthy right now for us. We want to break this flag, then probably we're going to dump down easily, easily to very, very big levels, which we have to be very, very cautious about. So if we do break down above this, we can clearly go back down to the levels of 38,000 to 39,000 where we started this rally and pump from so ideally nobody would want that to happen but obviously that is an option right now that is a position right now that could happen until or unless we come back to the cipher levels of 45,000 to 46,000 range obviously then we're going to invalidate our bear flag though we discussed past few days ago that we did want had to come down to 42 500 range and this zone where we trade between 45 to 42,000 because we bump so fast here quickly on the daily time frames and weekly time frames we never build it into support and a lot of people are getting a lot of panic right now why does the market go up so quickly and then comes down slowly or gradually or sometime quickly as well is because we have that zone right now that news right now the situation in the world that is very very uncertain so obviously market react to those uncertain situations as well now we get into dxy we can clearly see that dxy is being sideways just consolidating in this zone we don't don't want it to be in this zone but it is trading in this zone we can't do pretty much about it because inflation keeps increasing and we are also getting a lot of hawkish news as well from our feds so there's not much action we can offer here we just have to be patient with our dxy even if we get into usdt's dominance dominance has rose and it is rising we are making clear w breakout here which we are breaking out right now so this was our w's neckline we have broken above that now we're just becoming sideways and consolidating which is a bad not a sign we would ideally want to have in the market right now but we've had it we ideally want it to break up below this line and get out of 33.69 percent but we had a massive u-turn here with the w pattern so we can't pretty much do anything about it right now just monitor the markets overall we can see eth is gaining btc's dominance is pretty sideways as well in the regions we would want it to go to 45 or 44 but it's just been trading around 42 43 41 overall if you look into all coins good dominance is coming right now so probably people are loading their bags right now because we can see dominance is coming back having a retest of this zone we have been in this zone for a very long time ideally we run break above this zone and get a lot more momentum right on the market what really is lacking right now also in the market is momentum would ideally want to have some kind of good momentum coming in that would make us very very bullish as well now we get into ethereum we can see ethereum had a similar bear flag situation going on and we are expecting this to be going on in a similar situation as well like we have in btc we have broken the trend even if you want to see the tt here trend trader indicator here we have broken trend here as well though we are very close to coming back into the trend similar ranges for tt and for some market cipher so there's not much action we can do here even if we go into one day time frames we are testing trend look a lot better than btc but still the situation is very very similar we do have a massive w here we did expect this w to break out but now we're breaking down so it's okay for now if we do hold these levels on the daily time frames then that means we are still very very bullish in the market overall we just have to monitor the market and be very very careful before aping into any trades i would not really want to get into trades when there is no good trade to be offered to us when there is no good trading opportunities right now in the market just forcing yourself to come into a trade wouldn't be a very very good decision right now in the market overall if you look at all the coins that we were very very bullish about axs 
Solana, AR, all these coins are consolidating a bit right now. Overall, we can see some kind of bounce is coming right now. But ideally, whether we want to get this bounce one to two percent is not something that I would advise. I think I'm gonna watch out the weekend and just hope the market is gonna flip very very soon. Probably we get some good indication by tomorrow once the weekend starts whether that big volume comes because we actually started dumping when we entered in the, into the weekend last week. Now we look at Theta, Theta is up about 4%, 4.5%. So Theta has broken above our trend and came out from the weekly downtrend line beautifully, hit my resistance zone beautifully of 4.386. Now it's just coming back to retest trend, looks alright, doesn't look as bad as some other coins, still has a lot of potential. Obviously it's consumption based utilities, it's a competitor for YouTube. So obviously the more people go that watch network that use Theta network more, obviously the market will get more and more bullish. Rune has broken its trend, looks pretty down and out right now. Earn is holding up pretty well. OMG is pumping right now. Mainly there's not much action right now in all coins. So there's not much for us to be discussing in all coins today. Even if you look into ETFs, ETFs right now are all negative. And even if you want to see dominance for small, small coins, looks all right. Tech stocks are also taking some kind of a hit. Though we can see commodities are acting really, really good right now in the market. That's the only action we can see clearly right now. Not much action going on there either. So overall, if you look at the market, market has been pretty, pretty bearish. Not much action going on into the market. We, ideally, we would want to break out of this bear flag. Once we do break out of this bear flag, maybe then the all coins trades would look very, very good for now. They look very, very dangerous. And if you like the content of these videos, smash the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to my channel. That's what keeps you motivated. Take care, guys. I'm going to be seeing you guys tomorrow.